Hello everyone, I am Izzy Linguini and it's time for another redo. We are back with Temple of Shiva, which I've been quite excited about because I really did enjoy this one the first time round. And this one I'm going to do only in two parts. I suppose I could have done it in three, but I just felt it was better off in two parts. So, let's get started. Okie dokie, so... Here we are on this ledge, just to the right. You've got some shotgun shells, and if you do end up sliding down, you can easily just hop back up and get them. Uh, just around the corner, straight ahead, there are actually a couple of tigers. There they are. You've got a safe spot right in the middle of this puddle, and you turn invisible. You are invisible in the middle of this puddle. Where are you? Can't see me. <laughs> Okay, so we are standing right on top of some revolver ammo. Now let me just show you this area, just around the corner where the tigers came from. There's a gate, and that's actually the first thing we want to do. We want to open that gate to get what's inside. Also, let me just hop up here and show you where the lever is to open the gate. You can just see on the wall there is a block sticking out so we can stand onto that block just get there and there is uh, the lever on the wall and um, so we have to actually get across the river first to be able to do that and you don't want to fall in the river allow me to demonstrate why I did last time <laughs> so let's see it again So you might get stuck, like so, but you will not resurface. And there you go, so she will just fall down to her death. <laughs> Okie dokie, so... Before I head across, I will actually just pick up a few items. If you come back over here, there is this one tile that looks slightly different from the rest of the wall. This is a block we can pull out. So for now, I'm just going to pull it out once because this will help us climb this tree right here. There is a large med pack in the tree. So once she's gone as far as she can and won't actually climb any more, just head left and she will automatically move diagonally. Yeah, she's a bit odd <laughs> in this tree. Okay, large med pack and also there is a happy monkey in the tree. <laughs> So to get back down, you can just drop straight down, you'll take a lot of damage. But the safer way is just to shimmy along. It is difficult to see what you're doing with the tree canopy. So there we go, the angle changed when she got her footing. So when she does get her footing, it becomes slightly, slightly <laughs> easier to see what you're doing. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so now I'm going to move this block again because there are some goodies behind it. I'm also going to line it up for later. We don't need to actually put it into place for now, but I will do that ready for later. So pull it once and then push it twice, which is actually as far as it will go. Push it towards the tree stump thing that's there. So I will explain more about that when we get there. But for now, we have some revolver ammo and some Uzi clips in this gap. Alrighty. Whoops. <laughs> so jump onto the tree stump and to get to the other side we need, need, we need to climb on these rocks. And you've got some breakaway tiles here, but oh my goodness, 
I wanted to walk to the edge. That did not work. <laughs> anyway, you are safe enough. Right, so now over this way there will be a tiger. Okay. And just down here, if you grab the ledge, we can get to our first secret. And if you press the sprint button, you can shimmy faster, which is always a fantastic thing. So here we are. The first secret is flares, which is just a little bit rubbish, <laughs> but never mind. We have a secret. Also, there are four in the entire game, and I don't think they're spread out very well. There are three in this opening section and one later on, so it just annoys me they're not spread out very well. Also, the, uh, the statistics... Where are we? There we go. The statistics say that there's eight. The walkthrough actually says that there's four. So I'm going to go ahead and say that there are four because... I don't really know where the others would be if there are eight. So just keep that in mind. I'm quite certain there are only four secrets. So now come to the end. You'll get a random camera angle and we're going to hop over to the other side. Run and jump to here. You don't necessarily need to grab. You can if you want. Okay, so we've got an annoying jump here because this camera angle does not change. So run and jump and you do need to grab for this. Okay, over to the end again. Okay, so run and jump to that section sticking out of the wall and you will definitely need to grab. Sometimes it seems you don't need to grab, but you definitely do. Just come to the right for some shotgun shells. And here is our lever that's going to open that door. And only open it once because otherwise you could, you're just going to be sat there opening and closing it. <laughs> And a lot at a time, you need to press the look button to get out of angles in this game. Okay. So last time I had to hop down this way and jump onto that overhanging tree stump or log or a, a rock, whatever it could be. I think it might be a tree stump like a broken off tree stump or something. Um, so yeah, you can get down that way. That is the fastest way, but you will lose half of your health. But I have discovered since then a way to get back across over here. I'm not really sure why you have to do it a certain way to line up, but what you want to do is to grab the edge, pull up, and then roll, and then you are lined up. If you do a normal running jump, you will not grab this ledge for some reason. I don't really understand. <laughs> but anyway, just hop up here. And before I go back down to get back across the river, I'm just going to grab a secret. So we've got a banana jump situation here. We can hop in front of this column. There's a gap in between there. You can just see it on the right hand side. So I don't like banana jumps because I'm not very good at them. But the best way to do them is to be about a tie or space away from the wall. So you can just see I am standing on the edge of the tiles. And you want the line of the column to go along Lara's shoulder. So it may be a bit more away from Lara's head. So let's see if I'm lined up right here. It looks good, but we will see. Okay. Oh, just missed. So you actually don't want to veer too soon, otherwise she will hit the wall. I will try again just here. I won't veer as soon as I did, just to see if that was the problem. Whoops. <laughs>
Well, let's give this a go. Brilliant. <laughs> there we go. So we've got some shotgun shells and let's not run off before we pick these up. We've got some Uzi clips. Nice. So now just hop down and take a note of this flame. This flame is very important. So now getting back across, come to this corner and you can run and jump over to there, but do not grab. There we go. It can be easier than you think to miss that as well. So inside here we have some flares. And we have torches. So that's the deal. We actually need to take the torch back across so that we can light it. So that's actually why I moved this block as well. Because now we don't have to try and climb up to this stump because actually you need to, you know, climb up and grab this tree stump. If you see what I mean. <laughs> so you can easily run and jump to here. Okay. And just here, you want to throw your torch down so you can get down safely. Just have a look, see where it lands so you don't lose it. And there we go. And there is a ladder right here. So if you happen to actually fall down before now, you can easily get back up with the ladder. So when you step on this tile, Lara will look over at that one statue over there. So... Let me get off the tile <laughs> so I can actually look around. Um, we've got this one statue here with swords and the one that Lara looks at does not have swords. So that's kind of a hint of what we need to do. The game, the aim of the game, is actually to find the Shiva swords statue. No, no, there. <laughs> the Shiva statue's swords. So... Continuing, let's pick up our torch and now we can light it on this fire. And we can light this brazier opposite. And that platform has raised, so that's going to help us a bit later. So now that I'm down in this section, let's actually show you what the deal is. We actually need to open the doors to get into the temple. Um, the we need to light the braziers up the top there and up there <laughs> to be able to open the door. So yeah, we have to actually cross the river to get back up the top. So let's go ahead and do that same way we did. Uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Will I make it? Yes, just. Okay. So again, back across the river. What? I didn't mean to take a step back. Okay, so you may have spotted them when I pointed out that fire, but here they are. There's two here, and then there's two on the other side. So that's why that platform was raised, that grating, so we can actually jump over. So being careful at the end because the camera angle is slightly annoying. Okay, light these two. Oh, that is not how you light those. Okay. 
Okie dokie, now the doors are open. So just throw your torch down and then get yourself down. And you want to remember where you left your torch, you will need that later. So before I enter the temple, I'm going to run around for another secret. It's just over here. We've got... It's not actually quite a banana jump, but there we are. So not quite a banana jump. It's easy enough. So inside, once you just cross the tile, we'll have some spiders. Okie dokie. So come on in all the way around. We've got quite a good secret. We have got the revolver and some wide shot shotgun shells and some normal shot shotgun shells. And the revolver here is actually the only place to get the revolver in the game. So I highly recommend you grab this secret. Also, the wide shot shells are the only pickup of that one in the game. I'm not sure why. They probably wanted to have some more of those, but just didn't, maybe? I don't know. But there you go. Super special secret. <laughs> so now come on into the temple, and you can see that the path is still blocked. That's annoying. We thought we were in. But right here on this tile, I'm standing on some Uzi clips pick them up and to open this gate we actually want to pull out this block and drop it down into the pit in the middle of this section so I will go ahead and do that Alrighty, once it's in, we want to actually push it onto that odd tile. There's that raised bit next to it, don't really know what that's for, I don't think it's for anything at all. But, let's move the block onto that tile. Nice, so now we can enter. Firstly, there is this small med pack in the corner. And let's head on in. Awesome, so now we're inside. We can blatantly see these two statues, which both also have swords. So that's kind of a, another hint about the one outside without the swords. And the deal in here is we've got four rooms and we need to enter one room to get a key to be able to enter the next room to get a key to enter the next room etc etc and eventually we will open those doors ahead. So the first room is already open, let's come on in. Whoop. Do have some bats in here but they're actually really easy to kill in this game. There's two. Oh, three in a row. There they are. All the bats in a row. <laughs> so there is a small med pack in the corner. And in the opposite corner, there is this pot that's on fire. <laughs> There's actually two med packs right here. And I think this fire is something to do with, um, like, some TRLE designers put, you know, like a little pit of water so you can put your torch out in the water to save a fire bug. 
Oh, Laura's ass is on fire. Let's <laughs> get away from that. Um, yeah, so I think that is the fire bug because we have a torch lit outside. I think that's what that's to do with. Anyway, shoot that next pot and there are some Uzi clips. Now, come on through here and be careful. This is not water. This is death water, so you don't want to be standing in it. The aim now is to get into the room right above. So come all the way to this side. We're going to do a run and jump to that flat tile. Not sure if this wall is in my way. Right, let's see about this. Okie dokie. Nice, okay. So for this next jump, you do not want to be all the way forward because you can overshoot. You actually want to grab the edge of this. Nice, and then when you climb up, immediately hold jump so she will grab this. Next to here, and her feet always get stuck just here. Yeah, <laughs> forward. So jump to this, you can grab this. And then shimmy all the way around. And you can just see an invisible platform right there. So that's where we're going to jump to from this. So you want Lara to have her footing, but you want to be as low as you can. So you want Lara's feet to, to be at the lowest point. And now just flip back and grab. There we go. And in the room there, there are a couple of tigers. You can shoot them from here. But it can be, you know, long-winded and time-consuming, so I'll just wait till I get there. So, obvious path is obvious. <laughs> And run on in with guns blazing. Hey, guess who's in town? Oh, you're stuck. I can't even aim at it. How are you that stuck, bro? Well, you're not doing any harm, so I'll just move on. <laughs> so we have a large... Nope, this is a small med pack. And this button here will open this door right here. So, this room, you can see a blade trap on the wall there, and there are actually spiked walls that will close in on you. You will need to jump up, you can kind of just see it from here, you jump up to the next room and there are also spiked walls, and you can just see red patches either side, that's kind of a, a tile that is red on the ground, and you will need to jump over that tile because it is a spike trap. So I know I'm babbling, but you will actually see how I do this and you will see what I mean. So it might take a few practices because you need to sprint through, but you need to take your finger off the sprint button so you have enough time to jump. So I definitely recommend saving. Right, wish me luck. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> so, now we are in this corridor, and if we come all the way to the end... We're locked in. We are trapped in this corridor. We need to open that door. But there is not a lot in the corridor, really. Uh, in some TRLEs, when there is a revolver on the ground, that's sometimes a hint of you need to shoot something with the revolver. Sometimes flares can mean the same thing. I've just picked up some flares. Let's light a flare. This one tile is different. This is a block, so let's push this in as far as it will go. <laughs> I 
and you can see here we've got another block so just pull this out enough times so that you can get around it and that's actually as far as it will go anyway okay and here's a lever that will open the door So now we can come on in and this is a maze. It's actually quite small. It's not really all that easy to get lost. So we've got a blatant odd tile here. This is a door. We actually need to find levers to open the door to the next lever and etc. So the first lever we can get to is around this way. We've got some dart traps, but they're not proper poisonous traps. So don't panic too much. Okay, that was lever number one. That's opened a door up the slope and at the end to the left. So behind there will be lever number two. Oh, let's just stand right in the path of the darts. Okay, and this lever has opened the door that I was stood right next to when I was talking about the maze. So, yep, simple enough. Here it is, and inside there is a key. So this will lead us to the next room. So once you pick this up, a hatch will open. So halfway up the slope we've got this passage. And this is the hatch that opened when you picked up the key. I'm going to save because I sometimes do have a little bit of bad luck here. And it is purely bad luck. <laughs> okay, so you want to grab the ledge. And if you can just see at the bottom. Well, you can't see when, you know, you have to go through a wall. But there is that invisible ledge, that invisible tile. So you want to grab that, but you might not be able to grab <laughs> from that highest point that you are holding on to. So the side of that is quite a thick side edge. You can actually hold on to that like a ladder kind of thing. So that is helpful. The safest way down here is to come to the corner and you can roll and land on the highest point of this sloped tile. So you will minimise your damage. There you go. Also, just here, she will always get her feet stuck. Be aware of that, otherwise you will run, you will just run into the death water like so. Okay. <laughs> So, as I've said, it is purely bad luck. <laughs> there we go, I <laughs> nailed it. So now we can use the key, and the keys you collect can only be used on certain doors. They just won't work for the wrong door. So, next door to use the key is this one, straight ahead. Come on in, and we've got this massive wall in the way. We've also got this block and this odd tile. So, let's introduce the two and see if the wall will disappear. Nice. So also we do have some revolver bullets. So when we come into this next section, Lara will look at that one brazier. She won't look at the other one. You will need the block to be able to reach that because it's kind of high. Um, and this one is a bit odd. You need to light that brazier and the one here 
you kind of it kind of tries to catch you out. You push the block underneath it to ready yourself to light that one, but the wall lowers. So, that's a thing. That's how you do this one. But we will need the torch. Do you remember where you put it? Actually, let me move the block and then we'll get the torch. Okie dokie, let's give the torch. So if you don't remember where you put your torch, there's actually multiple torches where you picked up the first one. You just need to light it and it's a bit easier because you've got these flames inside as well. There's lots of flames now. Hop on up, light the brazier, and because we don't need to light the next one, you actually can just throw your torch. We actually do not need the torch again. So, move the block. So, once your block is in place, the wall will lower, and it tries to catch you out because there are tigers behind the wall, oh my goodness. Why won't they die? There you go. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's sneaky. That is very sneaky. <laughs> so now we have a gate and the key is just on the ground. You can barely just see it through one of the holes there. And we've got the tile here and we want to push the block onto the tile. Okie dokie, now the door is open. Okie dokie, ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay, so also we have this large med pack. So this room is probably the easiest. It's long winded because you have to move the block. But yeah, I'd say this is the easiest room. Or well, second easiest perhaps, there's another easy one. So next key is to be used here. <laughs> okay, come on in, crawl under here and there will be a few bats. Oh, missed one. There we go. So there's just a few things in here. We've got some Uzi clips on the ground. And a small med pack up here. And on the opposite side, there is a large med pack. Alrighty. So, the deal in this room we want to open that door. To do that, we actually want to move that tile on that higher block there. And we want to put it on that green section there, and that will open the door. So this is simple enough, but very long-winded. So firstly, we want to get this block down onto the ground level, so we have another block to use. So this entire section I will just speed up like last time. You can see what I'm doing, it is simple enough, it just takes a while. So use the two blocks that you have to put them in a row in front of that first higher block. Uh. 
Okay, so now you can pull this block all the way forward and actually push it off the side. And there's actually a, a bit of a, a bug slash glitch that I will take advantage of. So as you're pushing this block along and you continue to hold down the action button, she'll push it off the ledge but she will continue pushing while standing in the air, so it's just faster to do it this way. Now you can move this top block all the way along. We've done it! Okay, that took forever. <laughs> but now the door is open. I'm gonna save my game just in case something happens, and I have to do that all over again. Because <laughs> it is so simple, but it just takes so long. <laughs> Hockey doggy, come on up. Come to the side up here and we've got a slope so you just need to jump over that. Somewhere along the path we've got some bats, there they are. And a small med pack right here. And you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, what's going on? There you go, you got some funny jumps going on there. <laughs> so come out to this section and you do not want to fall in the water because you will get dragged down to the bottom. So now you just want to make your way around the room so that we can come out of here. So these ledges can be simple enough. Ooh, a bit of lag there. <laughs> so from here, once we step off this slightly higher bit, there will be a boulder. So when you hop back, you want to sort of angle a bit so that you can hop back and grab the edge of this. So let's do our best. There we go. Super duper. Now continue along underneath here. And at the edge here, you just want to jump to here and then hop back again and grab another boulder. 
Whoa! Oh, well, I ran into it. It didn't kill me. Ah, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button, but I'm still alive. Okay. <laughs> Hop up here, and from here we're aiming for the edge of this, which I often mess up for no reason whatsoever. I don't know why, it just happens. But I did it today. Nice. So, uh, come on in. And just in this gap, there is a timed lever for the door up the top. But firstly, I'm going to deactivate a boulder, which will stop us from getting through the door. <laughs> so I'm going to save. Right, so the tile to activate the boulder is this. So you are safe right here in this corner. Nice. You're also safe right here in this corner. And now the lever. So there's not much room for error with this. Okay, here we go. Oh god. No, oh, go, go, go. <laughs> Just made it. Okay. Nice. So now, let's see what's going on in this room. We have to get to the other side, just to have a, a better point of view. We have some shotgun shells. And over here, there is a torch. There's actually multiple torches right on this one spot. So, the way out... Oh no! I fell! That's alright, there are more torches, don't panic. So, I was gonna say... Because I tried to look, but she went back instead. The way out is through there, but we need to open it. Grab another torch. Luckily, there are more torches. <laughs> so, in the water, we've got a lever there. And just on the wall to the right-hand side, you can just see a lever sticking out of the wall there. So, we need to pull both of these levers. They are both timed. Light your torch first and put it in a place where you will be able to pick it up easily in a hurry. Um, hmm, maybe here. So grab your pistols. Okay, and I'm gonna save. In a moment, anyway. <laughs> Let me just explain first. You want to pull this underwater lever first because it's got a longer timer. So one lever raises the grating in the water so we can easily hop across. The other lever lowers that column in the corner. And also you can just see an invisible platform there. So that's something else we're going to have to use. And I do struggle with this one sometimes. <laughs> so wish me luck. Gonna save... Let's do this. So as you swim towards the ledge, you want to be holding action. So then she instantly grabs it and doesn't, you know, swim backwards. Okay, so now grab your torch. Hop across. And you want to jump onto here because sometimes she barely makes it, so jumping is highly recommended. So now you can't really see the platform, you can just see its slightly green corner, kind of in front of the column in front kind of thing. Should I save? I don't know, shall I risk not saving? I think I'll not save, so run and jump. Mm, there we go, I knew I could see it. And you'll have to run and jump again. Like this. Get rid of this. And the door is open. Didn't want to sidestep. I keep doing that. <laughs> Hop to the gap and in we come. There is only one item in this room. And that is right here. It is the next key. <laughs> So picking that up has opened this. To get out of this angle, you either want to look or hop off the tile there. 
So this is our way down. Our way out of here. Carefully make your way down. When you get to the bottom, you are better off just doing it the slower way, <laughs> just for your own safety. And you want to be as low as you can possibly get. You will just take a little bit of damage. Not a lot, though. So now, climb up these vines to the next room. Didn't mean to hop back. <laughs> Fumble fingers today. Excuse me, Dora. I'm standing here. Rude. So, anyway, Lara will look over at that door over there, which is kind of awkward when you're near such deadly water. So, yep, don't fall in the water. Um, let's also just say that... Um, you use the platforms to get across. Technically, they are invisible, but mm, not really. Um, yep, timed button behind <laughs> will open the door. Let's do this. So I know the jumps well enough because, you know, practice. <laughs> so I recommend that maybe you should try the jumps before you push the button so that, you know, you've got a bit less pressure on you to know the jumps. Because when you're timed, there is so much panic. <laughs> so you might want to just test it before you, the timer and then, you know, reload from this point and then try it with the timer. Anyway, let's do this. So for me, it is simple enough. From here, do a three tile running jump, standing jump, running jump to the next one. Run and jump. Standing jump. Run and jump. And then jump and grab in the air to slide all into this gap. Nice. So this lever does not show you what it's done. But I can tell you that it has opened those main doors in the temple area so that we can move on to the next area. Nice. So now these jumps back are a lot easier because there is no pressure. You are not being timed. Here we are, we've opened the doors, and I will explore that section next time. This is where I'm going to call the video. So, thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed it, because I know I definitely have enjoyed coming back to this one. And, take it easy.